Hi, my name is Matthew Gobitz and I volunteered at the Seba Honduras in the clinic and hospital from June 18th to July 15th. Um, the local ABV coordinator was very friendly and uh, spoke English. She provided us with transportation every day to the uh, clinic and hospital, which was very nice, and also um, did everything to make sure that we were comfortable and uh, had plenty of uh, good food while we were here. Um, some of the most surprising things that I saw were just seeing the end stages of diseases that um, commonly are treated before um, they get to organ failure. In the U.S., for example, diabetes, uh, a lot of times uh, it'll be controlled with insulin before they'll have necrosis and have to have their um, feet amputated. But here, they don't always have those treatment options available, and so it's kind of surprising to see um, those patients that have the end stages of that disease. Um, one of the most difficult uh, things that I experienced in the program was just being uh, presented with opportunities where I was unsure of um, what to do um, just because of lack of training um, and qualification. Uh, Sometimes in the clinic they would uh, ask us to um, do sutures or cast people uh, and there wouldn't be a lot of instruction on how to do that and that's something not something that I know how to do. So that made it difficult to do those procedures sometimes. Um, the weather is pretty is warm here all the time so I pretty much only wore shorts and t-shirts and my scrubs to go to the hospital and clinic. So I'd recommend bringing a lot of each of those. And um, the hospital and clinic have almost no gauze. Um, so I would suggest bringing that as the main thing with your don donations. And then also uh, <coughs> sutures would be very helpful, especially at the hospital. Uh, some other things to know. I would recommend going on the weekend trips. Those were a lot of fun. Uh, I went to Cayos Cochinos and went snorkeling. And I also uh, went to the whitewater rafting, which was one of the highlights of the trips, trip for me. And also hiking uh, in the mountains and jungles here in Honduras is a great experience. It's very beautiful. And so are the beaches. Uh, for me, this trip was great to be able to see the state of healthcare in Honduras. Um, I hope to have a career where I can continue to work in um, populations like here in Honduras. And it was very um, good to open my eyes to see the kind of healthcare they have here with the resources and the training of their healthcare professionals. Um, I would have liked to have been able to uh, help a little more with the um, in the clinic and the hospital with tasks that I felt were a little more appropriate to my skill level. I felt that some of the things were above my qualification and I didn't have the proper training to know how to do them and sometimes um, didn't really know if it was in the best interest of the patient. Uh, but there are plenty of opportunities to uh, observe procedures. I watched a lot of surgeries and that was another one of the highlights of the trip for me. Um, the food was all uh, very good. I would recommend trying the baleadas, especially the ones outside of the clinic. Those are uh, reported to be the best in La Ceiba. Um, more highlights of the trip for me uh, in the hospital being able to interact with some of the surgeons while they are doing very intricate procedures and um, just being able to talk to them about their careers and um, what exactly they're doing in the procedures was really cool. And then also um, one, another highlight of the trip for me was talking with one of the anesthesiologists um, completely in Spanish. Um, gave me a sense of accomplishment in terms of my um, learning Spanish during this trip. And also it was really great just to hear about his experience in Honduras as an anesthesiologist and we also just got a lot of talk, talk about a lot of things that we have in common which was really great. Um, 
before I left for Honduras, um, I communicated with Sarah at the Broader View office several times and she was really great and being very prompt and responding to me and helpful with all of her information. And uh, last thing is uh, I found the Broader View searching for programs online. I really liked that um, I got to choose my own dates to come here just because I had a busy summer and also um, they had a sm Spanish immersion program with the opportunity to work in a clinic and in a hospital and uh, I had a friend who did this last summer and um, recommended it as a very good program. Thank you.